Republicans, Michelle Bachman, who is running for president, wants to wage war against the Environmental Protection Agency. And I guarantee you the EPA will have doors locked and the lights turned off and they will only be about conservation. It will be a new day and a new sheriff in Washington, D.C. It's not the kind of thing you would expect a mother to say. In Sweden, it's mothers that go to the government complaining of pollution. We cannot have it, they say. It's because babies are very, very vulnerable to pollutants in the water that they drink and in the air that they take into their lungs. Pollution can even affect them in their womb. Air pollutants can cause a baby to develop asthma, impaired lung function, sudden infant death syndrome, low birth weight, birth defects, DNA damage, which can cause cancer later in life, premature birth, heart defects. Water pollution can cause such problems as reduced intelligence, asthma, hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inability to concentrate, autism, low low birth weight, premature birth, weakened immunity, developmental delays in motor and mental skills, birth defects, deafness, heart defects, and so much more. To illustrate the necessity of the Environmental Protection Agency, here are just a few of the many companies or individuals the EPA has taken action against. A silver mining company in Idaho was fined $263 million to pay for the EPA's cleanup of millions of tons of mining waste laced with lead and arsenic that, it, that was poisoning water, birds, and fish. A man in Texas is an environmental fugitive sought by the EPA for illegally disposing of mercury-contaminated soil. Chevron is being required to sample the soil and water at 10 residences for uranium contamination, a radioactive substance, after uranium mining activities. The company must also post signs and keep livestock away from the area. The EPA filed a lawsuit against a city in Alaska for failing to clean up fecal coliform in the water that people drink and bathe in in violation of the Clean Water Act. A man in Ohio was fined $30,000, ordered to pay the community $25,000, sentenced to three years of probation, and required to perform 500 hours of community service for bypassing his pretreatment system by discharging wastewater containing cyanide and heavy metals directly into the sewage treatment system. A company in St. Louis that was dumping untreated raw sewage into urban rivers and streams is being forced to improve its sewage treatment plant. The EPA is giving one city a grant of $960,000 to locate, identify, and remedy the fecal contamination of 4,000 acres of shellfish beds that is causing high bacteria counts. The University of Florida had to pay a fine of $175,000 for improper disposal of, a, of hazardous waste, tetrachloroethylene, which had leached into groundwater. DuPont had to pay a fine of $59,000 for discharging mercury into water at a polymer manufacturing facility. A polystyrene manufacturing plant in Los Angeles was fined $450,000 for failing to vent its manufacturing emissions through an air pollution control device. The Southern Union Company was fined $18 million for illegal storage of mercury which contaminated an apartment complex that had to be evacuated. The list goes on and on. I think most Americans would agree that what we need in the USA is more environmental protection, not less, and Democrats in office. <laughs>